saw this meme floating around, right? And it says something to the effect of um, when people see you happy, they start bringing up shit from 1992. I thought that was hilarious because I've had that happen to me all too often, right? So I like to call those people remember when people, right? So what I think happens is you come up around a bunch of people, y'all all in the same, y'all all in the same gang. It's all the same thing. And um, I would like to think y'all all want better for yourselves. Y'all all want to accomplish some things. But some of you go harder than others um, to get what you want done and it happens. And some of you, you know, some blessings come faster for other people for whatever reason. However the universe works, however this thing works, it ain't on us. It's on, it's on the man above. It's on the powers that be, right? And so what happens is, to be honest, a lot of us don't want to grow. A lot of us are comfortable where we are. We're comfortable being a victim. We're comfortable in this space because we know how to, we know how to rock this space we're in. This, whatever this level is, we know what this is. We know what it what comes with it. We know what how to deal with things, right? But then when you see your peers elevating, and when I say elevating, you know, it's never really financial. Let's be clear. Now, we know money is the root of all evil, and folks be out here just acting crazy. They will turn on their best friends. They will turn on their man, their woman, their family, whoever, um, for a couple of dollars, right? But you know it's even stronger and more powerful than money? It's this, mental. Mental and emotional growth, right? Like, look around you. What you'll find is, it's quite possible that you have um, your friends, even your man, your mate, your girl, your husband, your wife. I'm just saying, think about it. What is the root of these relationships and friendships? You will find that a lot of them are trauma bonds. Yes, trauma bonds. So you've been friends, you've been in relationships, you've been in whatever for a really long time with a particular group of people because y'all had some trauma in common. Um, whether you all were in abusive relationships, whether you all grew up without your father, whether your mothers were terrible mothers, whether you all had some fucked up baby daddies. There was something negative that kept y'all together, um, even in a relationship, an intimate relationship. Y'all came together because y'all both were struggling. Y'all both came out of something. It was something other than pure, natural respect, love, and admiration for one another, right? Now, that's not to say the situation that y'all shared wasn't real. But what happens is when one of you starts to grow out of that thing that brought y'all together, now there's a problem. There's a problem now. You no longer want to talk about the things that brought y'all together. You no longer want to talk about the things that used to hurt you and the trauma you experienced because you've done the work and you want to, you're above that now. You know what I'm saying? It's above you now. You want to grow up out of it. You don't want no parts of it. You've healed from it. You've done the work. But then you'll find that your, your partner, whether it's your man, girl, friend, sister, brother, whoever that person is that you rock with or those people that you rock with, what you'll find is they're still stuck in the same place, right? You following? So they're stuck in the same place, but you're, you're, you're coming up. And then you might have a couple of people in your circle that's like, I like where she going. I like where he going. I'm going to go too. What's going to happen is the people that's coming up here is now going to have beef with the people down here. Because the people down here are so comfortable in their trauma and they're so comfortable in their pain and they're so comfortable in whatever it is that y'all had going on, they don't see the light. They don't see that there's, there's life outside of this, whatever this is that y'all had going on. You see what I'm saying? So now you have the courage 
to come up out of that shit. You don't you don't want to have these type of conversations anymore. You don't want to hang around these type of people anymore. You don't want nothing to do with none of this anymore. You still got love. Like, I love you. You my folk. But if this is what we talking about whenever I come around you, if this is what we're doing, if this is what it is, I can't spend too much time on this. So now enters the remember when bullshit, right? Because what happens is with the people that still want to be on that bullshit, they don't want to change. They're afraid. They don't think they can. They don't have the courage. They, they, they feel like where they at is right. There's a, there's a million reasons why they, they're not trying to come up out of that bullshit. But that's not your problem. And they're going to give you hell because you're not making it a problem anymore. And they would rather give up the relationship, the friendship, the family bond. They would rather fuck that whole thing up before they grow with you and get to where you're going. Their pride won't allow them to talk to you and say, yo, what, 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 what did you do to not be in that place anymore? Or whatever it is you're supposed to do. No, they'd rather stay there, arms folded, mad. This bitch thinks she all that. She acting funny. Uh, uh, uh. They start all that stupid shit. Or your, or your boys, for men, it's even worse because y'all are more... Y'all are more crazy with it. Like, you'll turn on your man and get him robbed, kill him. It just gets really weird with men. But with women, it's more, it gets funky. And and then sometimes women, they want to, now they want to gather a whole committee to hate you because you don't, you ain't with the shit no more. And it just gets real stink, right? And then when they create this committee and they get this audience, that's when the remember when bullshit comes in. Oh, she thinks she all that. I remember when, you know, she was borrowing my clothes. I remember when she was getting put out of her house. I remember when she had no money and I had to help her do this. I remember, you know, they, they start, they bullshit. And it's like, why wait until someone is doing good to try to tear them down? And so you got to think about the people that's paying attention to these stories and who's even giving these stories legs, right? So for the people that's into the, oh, she used to be what? She used to do that? You just as bad as the motherfucker telling the story. Because at the end of the day, gossip should die when it hits a wise person's ears. So you can't come to me if I'm friends with a, a woman I don't know her history like that. Let's say I met her at a networking event or I met her at work or I don't know. I, I met this woman. I don't really know too much about her past, but I know who she is now. I trust who she is now. Or if I meet a man, I don't know what he did long ago. I don't really fucking care. I know who he is now. I know what's happening now. And you're going to come into our situation talking about, oh, you, you friends with such and such or you fuck with such and such. I remember when he was homeless. What they gotta do with right now? He's popping right now. He's good right now. He has a great job. He got his shit together. He's wonderful now. Why are you telling me about his past? How you know he didn't tell me about his past already? Or if you're friends with somebody and someone wanna come along with the, I remember when she ain't have nothing. I remember when, what, that, what does that have to do with who she is now though? Why are you so upset that she is no longer who she used to be. So my, my thing is, if you stopped being so caught up on people's past, you would be able to have a future of your own. You still stuck the fuck back there somewhere. And that's where you belong. That's where you should stay. Because you have no business. You have no business bringing up nobody's past. It's irrelevant. For what? Just just to let somebody know where somebody came from? So what? If anything, it should be celebrated. Oh, this person used to be homeless. This person used to be broke. This person used to be fat. This person used to be bald-headed. This person used to be whatever it is. They're not that anymore. So that person made progress. That person did the work. That person bettered themselves. That person bettered their appearance, their, appearance, their finances, whatever. 
that person, but you're still stuck back there on what that person used to be. And now you got to wonder, or you shouldn't have to wonder why that person doesn't fuck with you anymore. You see how that works? That person doesn't fuck with you anymore because you still stuck back there. Or that person doesn't fuck with you on the level that you're used to. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same anymore. Because you still stuck here and that person is doing what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? You can't be upset when that person don't come around you anymore. You can't be upset when that person don't want to hang with you anymore because you stuck on some bullshit. So what I say to the remember when people that always want to remind people of their past when they level up and they happy, you need to grow up. You need to grow up and you need to find you some business and you need to find your happiness because it's enough for everybody. It's so much. There's so many things to do. There's so many ways to help yourself and fix yourself and better yourself. Why are you out here concentrating on somebody else that's leveling up? Level up too. As a matter of fact, swallow your pride and rock with your homie, rock with your girl, your man, whoever. Rock with them and level up too. Why are you, why are you sitting back like, oh, they think they all that. You know what? For the people who are being remembered, don't dumb yourself down because people are telling you you think you all that and you, oh, you this and you that. You say you motherfucking right. You motherfucking right, I think I'm all that. And I cannot wait for the day that you think that you're all that too so that you and I can keep this shit going. But until then, don't call me, don't talk to me, don't reach out to me because we ain't got nothing to talk about. Period, point blank. This is Conversations with Yaya. Check out my book, Twerking in the City, on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. Bye.